they would like to begin in the root chakra so we're just going to open the divine blueprint of your root chakra when i open the divine blueprint of your root chakra i see ancient egypt you absolutely hold egypt within your blueprint You have a lot of ancient knowledge and wisdom here. I do feel, I feel some density here, just like some held emotions that have been here for a while from, they're saying some from childhood that have to do around your safety and security. So feeling safe in your environment Feeling safe, not even in your environment, but feeling safe in the present moment. So it feels like you're always pulling yourself out of balance. Like, it don't, it's almost like you feel uneasy <laughs> or you just don't know how to like settle in to the present moment. Like I'm just feeling like I'm pulled in every single direction. And they're saying like in those moments, just breathe. Just take some deep breaths and find the beauty in the present moment. There's a lot of things happening on earth right now. But the one of the biggest things happening that a lot of people don't talk about is the sun is sending the earth solar flares. So solar flares are... It's basically radiation from the sun or we're just getting mass amounts of energy from the sun right now. And this mass amount of energy is causing people to awaken spiritually. It's causing people to remember more of who they are. And it's also, it's actually causing like more chaos and more confusion for in the collective for people that are not awakened spiritually because these solar flares are having an effect on all of us. Um, like they can make you feel more tired one day. They can make you feel like very energetic one day, depending on how, depending on like how <clears throat> big the solar flare was that is hitting the earth. And so they said that you are at a point in your life where you're going to start remembering more things in your soul's history. This is just a natural cycle that the earth is going through. The earth is awakening to their divinity. They're awakening spiritually to who they are. And so they're saying that... <laughs> They're saying today that they're excited to share this information with you just to take it slow. But you have reincarnated on Earth over and over again for the last 12,000 years. And so there's, there's a vibrational hold over you that has caused you to reincarnate on Earth for the last 12,000 years. And so you've accumulated some lower vibrational energy that I'm really going to try to work through today to break up for you. Going back to your root, so I'm just, I do feel like it feels pretty closed. Our root chakra has to do with like our addictions, our safety and security, how grounded we are to the earth. So you are a cosmic being. You have traveled the entire universe. You actually were an Octurian for a very long time. And Octurians are one of the most advanced extraterrestrials in the known universe. Um, and you have helped like build civilizations around the universe. But then 
you came to earth. (laughs) And we'll talk about that in a moment. But, um, so you actually naturally have a higher frequency than most people just because you are such an old soul. So this activation is going to raise your frequency very high. So just rest, drink a lot of water, take time. Um, I'm shining red light into your root. Like I said, there's safety and security from your childhood that needs to be worked through that would come up later if you chose. I feel a lot of energy right now. So I'm seeing what beautiful gifts your root shocker brings you. You carry like the, you have the ability to be naturally grounded, but not so much to earth, naturally grounded in your reality. So this is where like, you've always been a good worker. You like jobs just come easier to you than most people. It's easy for you to maneuver through this reality and you actually enjoy physicality. Like, you actually enjoy being in the physical reality. And you actually really, you really enjoyed your lifetimes as an Anunnaki. Because you enjoyed, like, being physical. (laughs) So, I'm going to open your brew as much as I possibly can. Get that energy up and flowing through your body. I'm seeing if your guides have any messages for you. <laughs> so immediately it's like I have Ra on one side of me and then I have Amun Ra or Marduk on the other side of me. And it feels almost like your angel and your devil. <laughs> like it's like it's like you embody both of these things. And you're carrying them both with you. So you, in one soul, you have the dichotomy of unity consciousness, which is raw, and the dichotomy of separation and worshiping something outside of ourselves, the shadow aspects of Amun-Ra. And it almost feels like you're constantly at war with yourself, of like what your soul naturally knows what is true and the conditioning the emotions and just like the distortions that you've carried with you for lifetimes while you were on earth it's almost like you got caught up in the distortions of earth and you let it like completely take over your soul's essence and that's how you were trapped in the net of earth to reincarnate for the last 12,000 years but they're saying that 12,000 year cycle is coming to an end and this is the best time where you can make a new decision So I'm not saying that like you are Marduk or like you are raw. I'm saying that you embody their energy. And you're connected to the same oversoul as them. So that's why you're having these feelings. You're going to start having like more memories of who these beings were. Because you're connected to them on a soul level. So I'm going to activate your root chakra completely um let's see there is an attachment here let's see (laughs) 
It looks like a snake almost. It's like... been blocking the energy flow from like flowing up your root chakra and into the rest of your body i'm just gonna call an archangel michael to come and speak with this being because it's not allowed to be here i'm asking him when he attached to you he said he's been with you for lifetimes he's also causing certain emotions inside of you it's like sometimes you feel an emotion and you don't even know why you're feeling it um some of it is coming from this being so archangel michael's just letting him know that he's not allowed to be there seeing if there's anything else that we need to know about it So even though you've reincarnated on earth over and over again, you are on earth as an extremely bright light. And so there are things that have like attached to your energy just throughout time. And he said that this being has been there with you for a very, very long time. So Archangel Michael is taking it back to the light. We're just gonna shine golden light where this being was. He's not happy to leave. <laughs> so it's been his home for a while. <laughs> I got an image of a snake and then I got an image of like the seven deadly sins and it's like you've lived through the tale of the seven deadly sins what sinful emotions are you still holding on to that are of the serpent that are no longer serving you so is it pride is it greed? Is it gluttony? What lower vibrational emotions are you allowing to have an effect on the domain of your own body? How can you step back and be the observer to your emotions? to rise above these cycles in your life. Especially since this cycle is coming to an end for you, you have the opportunity to finally make a different choice. So are you going to make the choice to continue the path of letting these lower vibrational emotions guide your life? Or are you going to make the choice to rise above be the observer to your emotions and come back to unity consciousness, to your divine soul's essence. Amun Ra is saying that you have to love your shadows also. So when you feel these emotions, how can you love them? How can you respect them? How can you honor them but raise above them? So we love and we honor our emotions. We don't just push them back down because they're going to be stored into our body. How can you honor them and love them 
but be the observer to them so that you can act on them in a dif- different way. So if y- you can almost like use your emotions as a compass. So if you're feeling anxious or if you're feeling prideful or you're having, let's even say like some kind of negative thought, you can use that as an compass <clears throat> of oh, maybe I should make a different choice or maybe that's not the right direction that I should be going in. How can I recalibrate myself and my choices to go onto a higher path, to make different decisions? That and coming back into balance, like this entire time, I truly just feel like I'm like... (laughs) being pulled from side to side between two aspects of self so how can you come into balance throughout the day and not allow anything outside of yourself to pull you out of balance okay let's go to the sacral and let's see what the divine blueprint of your sacral is There is a lot stored here. So you are holding all of your emotion in your sacral. They said that there's a past life here. So they're saying about the first 6,000 years of your lifetimes that were recycled on the earth were very deep and very dark. Because the vibrational hold over your soul was so strong. And there's a lot of trauma being stored here. So I'm calling in all of the angels. We're going to shine this beautiful golden light into it. It feels like it's completely shut down. You have really gone through like the darkness of earth. But it's like your soul has been evolving with the cycle of earth with the last 12,000 years. So if you paid attention to the Anunnaki movie, they really talk about cycles. So they talk about how they witnessed two cycles of earth that was fate, that was destiny, One was the flood, one was the great calamity. So we're in the third cycle. And it's just really interesting because it's like your soul has evolved with the third cycle of earth completely. So it started with us like having to worship something, some having to worship something outside of ourselves. So being taken away from our natural soul's essence of unity consciousness of oneness that's when we started believing in just like one god and that's why in the bible uh, you say amen because one of the gods that, that the bible was actually based off of is amun ra so Amun-Ra was the jealous god that forced people to worship something outside of themselves. And he took them away from unity consciousness. So when you say amen, that's actually worshiping Amun-Ra. But this was all purposeful. So this was actually a part of human, like the evolution of a human species. So... Amun Ra was just like playing this role for humanity because it was time for humanity to worship something outside of themselves because you have to experience the separation so that you can come back to wholeness. So it was actually Amun Ra's job to have humanity worship something outside of themselves so that we could come back to our spiritual essence and back to unity consciousness. It's how a species evolves. 
And so aspects of your soul was like playing this part for humanity. But Amun-Ra got very caught up, (laughs) we'll say, (laughs) in the emotions of having humans worship something outside of themselves. So that's when you get um, Amun-Ra, the jealous god, or um, he took it much farther than he had to for the role that he was playing. And that's why there was a vibrational hold over his soul that caused every aspect of his soul to reincarnate on this earth for lifetimes. Because he's such an old soul, his soul is so big. (laughs) I know this is a... It's hard to understand at first, but like, these souls are so old and they're so big that they have multiple aspects of self. It also feels like your masculine and your feminine energies are completely out of balance. So you have your soul has been overly masculine in the last 12,000 years. So it's really interesting. So if you can look at what humanity has been through the last, last 12,000 years, your soul has gone through the exact same thing. So overly masculine, um, the really like the dark ages, like you went through the dark ages in Europe. You've been through multiple wars on earth. You've been one of the souls just like truly experiencing like the darkness of earth (laughs) but you've been evolving with it so that you could eventually come back to your natural soul's essence so that you could naturally ascend past earth it's kind of like you've done your time and now it's your choice like it's your choice do you want to continue to raise your frequency so that you can break the net of earth so that you no longer have to recycle on earth um because the octarians like are ready to have you home your cosmic family is ready to have you home so you have an octarian family and an avian family so the blue avians are higher dimensional kind of like bird beings (laughs) um and you raw is like known as a blue avian as well so it's your choice really like do you want to continue your lifetimes on earth and live in your shadow aspects with Amun Ra. And if you do, that's completely fine. It's your choice. Um, it's all part of a soul's evolution. So if that's the path that you want to continue, then that's completely fine. If you want to continue the path of Ra, then that's the path of where you continue... Um, gaining more spiritual knowledge, maybe meditation, raising your frequency more and more, raising your vibration so that you can return home. So the difference about this lifetime is that you are actually being made aware of the karma that you're holding on to so that you can make a different choice to where you can choose where you reincarnate to next. They're just showing me like some pretty dark lifetimes that are in your sacral. So I'm asking them if it's like really necessary for you to remember all of these. They're saying it's not. Like if you just started doing more healing work, there are things that would come to the surface. But for the most part, just by raising your frequency, it will get rid of a lot of the darkness that you're holding in your sacral. Like I'm seeing like really dark things right now like I'm seeing like um the plague organ trafficking like them taking organs out of your body um like just like really (laughs) dark lifetimes especially after ancient Egypt where your vibe the vibrational hold over you was the strongest 
So I'm gonna try to break up this density as much as I can. I'm just gonna try and get this chakra spinning again <laughs> as the best that I can. I feel like I'm gonna have to do like three different sessions. This session is honestly more just like an exploration of your soul to help you remember who you are. It's not, I'm not even gonna get into like that much actual energetic work for you today. So let me try to break up as much in your sacral as I can. <laughs> Ooh, okay, they said that there's a curse here. That's why it's so dark. Let me see what the curse is from. You were in Peru. Is it Machu Picchu? Okay, so I'm seeing a few things. So there was a woman and you thought that she was very beautiful. And you forced her to be your wife and the entire family was very upset and they put a dark curse on you and so we are just gonna call in the angels they're just gonna shine light onto this lifetime they're just gonna come with their beautiful net and take or pick up this curse and take it away. Just knowing that you were only making the decisions that you thought were best in that moment. Just knowing that there's no judgment. There's only unconditional love for these past experiences. There's also, so you are extremely connected to the Anunnaki. So in your sacral is a lot of the Anunnaki darkness from our ancestors. So the an our ancestors, our Irish ancestors were actually like terrorized by, um, by the Nephilim. So the Nephilim are, when the Anunnaki first came to earth, when humans were first created, they started they started having children with humans, with human sapien sapiens, and the humans turned into it caused a genetic mutation between the Anunnaki and humans when they were trying to breed with humans and it caused giants they caught it caused a huge like genetic mutation in giants and they were literally terrorizing our ancestors <laughs> so i've had visions of them like eating people um it's just really really dark and so you're carrying this darkness as well But as you raise your frequency and as you raise your vibration and as we start to break these generational traumas that our ancestors have been through, it just automatically is healing this. It's healing and cleansing it. But we're just going to invite in our Irish ancestors. We're just going to send them so much love and tell them how grateful we are for them. Only allowing our benevolent ancestors around us, cutting any cords of ancestors that are not here for our highest and greatest good. Just knowing that we are strong enough to heal this Anunnaki darkness, that there was a much greater plan in place for humanity. It was all purposeful and we are here because we're strong enough to heal this. Also, Amun Ra and Ra are the dichotomy of the same being. I'm pretty much, I'm speaking with the two different aspects of the same being or the same oversoul. I actually, I see Ra as like, he usually comes to me as a being of just pure unity consciousness, very connected to his higher dimensional aspects, to the blue avians, 
even connected to the Octurians. Um, very loving, very an extremely old soul. Um, he played the role of Marduk in the Anunnaki. And it wasn't until after the Great Calamity, after they used the um, weapons of terror, where Marduk was completely overtaken by his lower vibrational emotions. And that's when he turned into Amun-Ra. And Amun-Ra is the one where the soul got stuck in the net of Earth. It was forced to recycle. So Amun-Ra has a chance to return to his natural soul's essence as Ra. So I'm going to try, like I said, I'm just going to try to get this spinning the best way that I can. We're just gonna send beautiful golden light to Ireland, to our ancestors. Just clearing the land. Okay, let's go into your solar plexus. So your solar plexus has is overactive and that is why they're saying that's why you have like that lump right there is <laughs> it's been malfunct your energy has been malfunctioning because you have an extremely an extremely strong solar plexus especially since you just understand how to maneuver through this 3d reality it's really important for you to stay in balance so, so for you you're like yes of course i know i'm worthy <laughs> Or you can just talk to anyone because you have like that natural confidence in yourself. So for you, it's almost like how can we tame our ego, <laughs> our separate self and come back to unity consciousness? How can we see every person every single person in our environment as a reflection of ourself so how is the person in front of you a mirror for you you definitely have like the anunnaki energy in your solar plexus so i'm just shining yellow light into your solar plexus We're just going to get this back spinning the right direction. It's so bright. Like your solar plexus definitely is one of your superpowers in this lifetime. But it's just like. It's also making you feel extremely separate from everything in your life. So. The way that you can look at oneness or you can look at unity consciousness is like, what are you in a giving and receiving relationship with? So a way to look at this at like the most simple level is like if you're having a cup of coffee, like you can't have a cup of coffee without the coffee being in the cup. You can't drink the coffee without you like picking up the cup of coffee and drinking drinking it everything is in some kind of relationship with something else so how can you naturally start to be in a more loving relationship with the people around you and with the things around you in your environment so 
how can you be in a more loving, giving, and really receiving relationship? <laughs> how can you see each person or how can you have compassion for the people around you? And how can you see yourself and everybody around you? It's, that's something that is so important for you to learn if you want to start breaking these vibrational holds over you. So you're an extremely old soul. So you just have that knowing, like you just have this knowing, this like deep knowing that we are not separate. You have these, this like this deep knowing that racism is not okay. But at the same time, it's the conditioning that you have been through on earth that's bringing you back to your separate ego. It's the shadow aspects of Amun Ra <laughs> that are coming through that you're allowing to have a vibrational hold over your soul. So how can you come back to your truest soul's essence and remember your loving relationship with all things? So I'm going to completely uh, recode this for you. There's physical damage here. So I'm just going to go in. I'm going to completely recode your divine blueprint here. Sometimes, so when we hold these dense emotions within us, it actually causes physical damage and physical harm to our bodies. So I'm going to go in and recode this for you energetically. <laughs> Let's go up to your heart. Aw, Hay is here. <laughs> Hay speaks to me all the time. She's just saying that she always loved you so much. That she loved her grandkids so much. That she wishes she could have done better for you, but she was only doing the best that she could that she knew how to with the childhood and the trauma that she had that she's one of the angels <laughs> over you now and she's just saying she's saying don't let your scorpion energy control you anymore that she was playing a role for you she volunteered to play this role for you so that you could live a specific life to come back to your soul's essence. So that scorpion energy is a lot of like what's going on in your root of like not having a safe place as a child. never being calm like never having or not being able to feel like it's almost like when you start to feel happy it makes you comfortable because you're afraid it's going to be taken away from you like you've never been able to be comfortable in happiness for a long amount of time and so you've been on this cycle where as soon as you start to feel like things are going well for you, it's almost like you sa you self-sabotage yourself <clears throat> so that it's like if you fuck it up yourself, at least somebody else isn't taking it away from you. And she's like, I know you're powerful enough 
to overcome this and that's like what you came into this lifetime for <laughs> she's saying your life path of 33 and they come in to their awareness later in life and it's not too late she just has so much love for you and she's sending me so much love <laughs> she's showing me the other day like um, there's something that like really stuck out to me when I went to Colorado <laughs> and I don't even know if you realize you said it was you were like, what if I've just been playing a character for you the last 30 years? And when you said that, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> and she's saying the exact same thing to you that you wanted these experiences because you're powerful enough to raise above them you have the power of amun Ra, and you have the love of Ra. how can you bring these two dichotomies into balance and create this beautiful divine soul to come back to self oh thank you so much for being here today and she's just saying that like you're too powerful of a soul to continue on this cycle of self-sabotage. Like, it's time to break this cycle that this is generational trauma that you're here to break as well. So when you break these patterns, you're breaking it for your ancestors and for the generations behind you. So that they can make different choices. Don't let the conditioning and the distortions you've collected, even just from this lifetime, take control and domain over your actions and your emotions. There's another attachment here. This one feels pretty dark. It's like latched over your heart. This one, I'm seeing you in the Catholic Church. You were part of the Catholic Church when they were trying to take over the Knights of Templar. So the Knights of Templar was like a beautiful <laughs> spiritual organization that was protecting occult knowledge when it first started. And um, they became very powerful in occult wisdom. And so the Catholic Church took them over and you were actually part fighting for the catholic church to destroy the knights of templar and you were one of the like crowned knights that took over the knights of templar from the original organization but you truly thought that like you were fighting for something good like you didn't couldn't see past the evil of the catholic church we're just going to send shining light, shining golden light into this lifetime. I'm asking who the attachment is. It was one of the Knights of Templar. You stabbed him with your sword and he attached to you because you were a very bright light in the darkest times of earth. So these souls, what happens is when you're naturally like an old soul and you come to earth you're very susceptible to attachments so it's actually a pretty normal thing for old souls to have attachments because you're just naturally such a bright light these souls die like these younger souls will pass and they'll get very confused and they'll just attach to a light that is the first light that they see when they're trying to go back towards the light and so you have a few attachments so we have to get rid of today so he was a part of the knights of templar he attached you when you when you stabbed him he's been affecting your ability to be able to tap into your emotions of love completely He's been a pretty block, big block over your heart. 
so we are just going to Archangel Michael is just gonna take his hand he's gonna take him back to source all his family's waiting for him it's so beautiful we're going to shine green light into your heart just I feel some distortions here we're gonna shine green light where that attachment was. Like I said, I'm probably gonna have to do like three sessions for you, which is totally fine. <laughs> Let me just make sure that you don't have any more attachments because those are always the most important to remove. Okay, there's another attachment in your third eye. And then there's a being in your energy field. Okay, so let's go to your third eye. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, it's like I saw these big eyes looking at me. <laughs> this one is not... He's more calm. Like, it seems like he's just kind of like hanging out here. Let's see when he attached to you. He has been sending you a lot of negative thoughts. So it's like sometimes you get these really negative thoughts and they're not even your own. Like they're coming from this being. And he's like speaking to you in your sleep. Okay, so he attached to you when... So you were in the United States when... Everybody thought that witches were putting spells on everyone. And you were a part of the groups that were burning witches at the stake. But again, that was just the vibration of the earth. And you were just doing the things that you thought were normal at that time. And so one of the witches that was burned at the stake attached to you. And she has been having huge vibrational hold over you. She's been blocking your third eye completely. So you're extremely spiritually gifted and she's been blocking your third eye completely. So we are just going to call in Archangel Michael. She's, we're just going to have him put her in a glass box because she doesn't want to leave. And then what he is just going to carry her back towards the light. We're just going to send her so much love for the lifetime she had to go through. We're just going to send so much light to her. We're going to uh, pull her out of her body before that event even happened. We're going to send beautiful healing light to any of the people involved in that lifetime. Just knowing that this was a very dark time of earth. Just releasing this and letting it go. <laughs> Your third eye is like wide open. Like it really feels like there was a huge block over it. And now he's just like looking at me. He's looking around. <laughs> They're saying you're extremely clairvoyant. So um, you have the ability to like remote view i don't know if you know what that is you have the ability to be very psychic like see events in the past present or future your third eye is probably one of the most powerful so especially as an octarian octarians um their minds are extremely powerful so that's why it's so important for you to watch your thoughts is because your thoughts are even more amplified than most people since you were an Octarian for so long because the Octarians are very mental, like they're very telepathic. They are very good at telekinesis and all the tellas. <laughs> um, I was also an Octarian for a very long time and I'm a huge Claire audit. So like beings are constantly speaking to me. So like I've been having conversations with Amun Ra this entire time. That's why I keep laughing. <laughs> it's because he, he's feisty and I like it. <laughs> Let's 
Oh, let me just, okay, there's another being in your energy field. I just want to make sure that even if we don't really get to like the light language activation, we just completely clear your energy because like your energy has not been yours for a very long time. So you've had beings in your energy. So they've actually been causing you to like feel emotions that are not yours. And they've been causing you to have thoughts or even visions that are not yours. So let's see what the being is in your energy field. He feels really, really dark. He is the one that like really whispers like dark things to you. Especially if you're drinking, like especially if you lower your vibration even more then he is like sending you dark thoughts the entire time. And that's especially causing like, even when you drink, when you get really angry, it's because it, this being has been around you, like causing your thoughts to just like be extremely dark. <laughs> I got a vision of like, um, you know how alcohol is called spirits? This the spirit has been with you, like this dark, dark spirit has been with you. And it's almost like he like waits for you to lower your vibration. And then he's like, yes, this is my time. Because it's almost like he's trying to like live through you. <clears throat> I'm seeing when, like when he attached to your energy field. I'm seeing you in a past life. It looks like you're like walking through a cemetery. They're doing some kind of ritual in a cemetery. It's like a bunch of priests in a circle. And they're doing some kind of like exorcism on somebody that they're not supposed to be doing. And the person that was a part of the exorcism died and has been attached to your energy field ever since. This demonic being went from the person that they were doing an exorcism from into your energy field. Okay, so we are going to call in Archangel Michael. And he is just going to put this being in a box. <laughs> in a beautiful glass box. That he cannot escape. He's just going to take him back to source. Since he has been affecting your free will. He's going back to source immediately. Oh, that feels so much better. It's like it, your soul felt very like dense and dark. And now it just feels like so bright again. Okay, so let's just double check your energy. You have some um, emotion from this lifetime, some emotion from past lives that your soul would love to release. But again, it's just like getting into the meditation um, or like sessions with me to release those. You've lived so many lifetimes, like you've lived lifetimes in Atlantis, you've lived lifetimes in so many other planets, you've helped the rise and fall of civilizations of this universe, you have the ability to be so connected, like you have the ability to be just as connected as I am. So I'm going to do one final activation. I'm just going to connect all your chakras together. I'm just going to try to open up your channel. Just to get your energy up and flowing. And then we'll seal the activation. And we'll end it there for today. So I'm just going to work my way up through the chakras. Just so I can really open that channel of energy for you.
who as I was doing that, one more Bing came out. All other attachments, please come forward now because you're not allowed to be here. Three more came out and I feel another curse. So I'm asking if there's anything we need to know about these other three before we send them to the light. One of them was making you feel anger that wasn't yours. One of them was in your throat chakra. One of them was just kind of like feeding off of your energy, making you feel like even more tired when you weren't. One of them you got, you were like an amphibian being um, on Sirius and right before you came to Earth and it's been with you ever since. Okay, so call. I'm just going to call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Ezekiel. They're just going to take these three back to the light. We're just going to come and take this beautiful net and clear any curses. Your energy is yours and yours alone. I call all aspects back. So for you, the element of fire is very important, but they're saying like, let the fire ignite your spirit. Like, so all of these beings have been taken out of your energy. Your energy is completely clear. It feels so much better. Just enjoy this time. Have so much fun remembering who you are, coming back to self, remembering that you're a beautiful divine being. <laughs> that it's time to like grow into bigger and better experiences that you have a beautiful choice here where this is a lifetime where you can finally start to expand your soul again into everything that you are you can explore your spiritual gifts you can live from more love than ever before since you have had these dark experiences so the beings that have been into the darkest depths are the ones that can have that can feel the capacity for the most love and you have the opportunity to live from a place of unconditional love especially from having these deep dark experiences so i'm gonna finish this session today by bringing in the crystalline light the crystalline light is the highest vibration of light it clears all distortions you're holding on to and you're filled instantly and immediately it activates and upgrades your dna bringing you back to your truest soul's essence so we're just gonna bring in the crystalline light down through your star chakra, your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, down through your solar plexus, your sacral and your root, down through your earth chakra, filling your entire energy filled with this beautiful crystalline light radiating this crystalline light outwards protecting your energy completely your energy is yours and yours alone